Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. I'm back, and I am here to talk about living a fulfilled life. I do a lot of writing, and ever since I've done these videos, I've realized that uh, as a person, of course, I've grown. But as a writer, I've grown even stronger. And um, with the confidence that I have built while being on camera in doing these, uh, doing this work, I've decided that it's okay to share the fact that I write a lot of notes and um, I didn't want to read exactly from here because I'm not afraid to look into the camera but it was really important for me to uh, introduce this because to get it to get it across to people more because I think that I'm, I'm somebody who I'm a nice person but it's only because of what I've gone through that's what makes me who I am and that's the same for all of us everyone has their own unique individual characteristics that make them them. But we don't have a lot of positivity in our lives, whether it's our environment or just naturally who we are as a person. And I think we all deserve happiness, we all deserve health, success, and um, prosperity. I personally went through a lot of uh, family troubles when I, from a little age, um, problems at school with teasing and bullying, and um, now as I get older, of course, there was the in, there was a lot of issues with depression and a lot of issues with really being true to my emotions and speaking out and not being ashamed or afraid to say how I feel and thinking about what others thought before putting myself first and really it doesn't matter because at the end of the day I have to live for myself and I only answer to myself in God and I think that when you really look at everything that's gone on as in your life as a blessing and a learning lesson, not as a mistake or a regret or end of the world, you do grow as a person and you get to see, okay, things aren't as bad as I thought they were. Because sometimes you have to look at the mess and all the bad things in your life as uh, inspiration. And I've said this countless times before, but um, I just feel that there are many people who think I'm too nice or I'm too sensitive but it's only because they didn't experience what I experienced. And I don't think any two people in the world can say they live the same life because we're all made and shaped into different ways, but we're all equal at the same time. And there was one person in particular who is about 18 years old. She lives with her parents and her younger sister. She had these high-level classes. And, um, you know, I mean, her family, they, they do very well. She, she has a lot going for her in terms of uh, education because of her good marks, financially, um, because of the, the parents making a lot of money, and has a large family and a large support system. But is she happy inside? You know, as where compared to me, I dealt with a lot of emotional, financial, and um, family issues. But I feel deep down inside I'm happier than most people because I don't look at myself as a victim. And I've made it a point since I was little that it didn't matter what happened to me. I would always wear a smile on my face, mean it, and be happy with where I'm at in life. And always go after what I believe without stepping on other people's uh, feet and without preaching too much because we all believe in certain things but to do what I want to do in my own way harmlessly and could have so much, you could have a, this false sense of security and feel that all these material things and all these people in your life or anything you have to fall back on like your education or your career but at the end of the day if you're not happy, if you're not healthy and I'm, I'm talking on many different levels like I, I always tell people, you know, the mind is the strongest part of the body and also, you know, mind over heart because the heart is irrational but you need a heart to have love and we all, we're human beings with feelings, we cry, we're angry, we do, we go through the motions all the time but, uh, you know, even spiritually it's very important to keep in tune with yourself spiritually and know who you are deep down inside and look at yourself first whenever any situation comes because it's easy to point the finger but when you're able to do something about it yourself, that's when it's best. Here is um, where I wrote, learning from mistakes and shortcomings while being grateful for all in your life makes you look at things through a glass half full perspective. 
I see many people with money and clothes as l lonely and sad deep down because they equate materialism with happiness and pleasure. Some people indulge in physical intimacy and sex without respecting their own body and having a spiritual sexual connection. I have a car that got damaged from an accident and slowly have to work step by step to fixing it. There's no option for me to fix it all at once or buying a new car. People laugh and make fun because they have lavish things and they're able to fix their car. I don't have that pleasure or that affordability, but I do have the pleasure in knowing that I'm working hard and I have a goal and I'm achieving it. Another thing I wanted to get into was parents having to coach their kids about behavior in public because the other day I was taking public transit and these kids were just like loud and nasty and just saying horrible things in front of other kids and in front of parents. Cursing and you know they smelt really bad, they smelt funky you know so a lot of times kids even to you I think it's important that you know when you go out in public you make sure that your breath smells nice, your armpit, your body odor smells nice and you're presenting yourself in a respectful manner because you are a product of your environment and you're you, you gotta show that your offspring of good people not nasty, trashy, ugly, dirty, crusty people. This thing happened to me yesterday with a cousin of one of my friends. He said something very horrible to me. Um, and this is somebody I don't like really well. And I just kind of walked off and brushed it off. But a lot of times we don't say things right away because we're too afraid to. And a lot of times we say we don't say anything or we don't do anything to keep the peace out of respect for other people involved because we don't want to be selfish. We want to have self-control and be mature adults and be able to speak in a way that's acceptable to others. But at the same time, I really don't give a damn anymore. But fuck them at the end of the day, you know, because I owe nothing to them. And if you're going to keep calling me names and being horrible and nasty to me, you know, I really need to keep you in check. And many times it is good to just let it go and let the powers that be deal with it. But many times also you've got, you can't let people step on you. And you can't let people get in your way and talk to you and treat you any way you can. You have to be assertive, stand your ground, but without being nasty. And, um, like, I mean, we all know about karma and the laws of attraction. And, um, what goes around comes around. And you want to treat people, you, you, you want to be treated the way you treat people, and vice versa, or however that's really supposed to be said. But um, I think that it all comes down to us. And even though we're living for ourselves, we do have to look and think of the people around us at times. Because when you look at the bigger picture, you're not the only person who's on earth, and you're not the only person in your life, in your circle, or in your environment. So you always want to think healthy and be healthy in what you feel, what good thoughts and what good feelings you have. You ought to project it rather than project or spread any evil negativity or any bad vibes. So that's all I'm going to say for now. And um, with every event, there will be chat. So um, there's a lot of things coming up for the month of September. And I can't wait. In October, of course, there's Carnival in Diwali, and the year end is coming, so I'm really thankful to everyone who has great thoughts and great things to say, lots of great suggestions. Keep it coming, and um, always remember to go after what you want to go after in life, and there should be no stopping you, because you should go after what you love the most, and it's always happiness in health, in success and self-love and self-respect and self-confidence that really ties all into one and that's the most important thing and if you don't have that then you can't live a fulfilling life and that's something you need to think about so bye